Yes, Caps Electra, good morning. It's Thursday. Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie looking after you. Morning, morning. And right now we are joined in the studio by two people. One who's been part of one of the most watched series on Netflix is an absolute mad thing. And another that's about to join the legacy as well. The stars of the brand new series, The Bridgerton Story, Golda Rochevelle. And India Martifo in the building! Yay! Morning, gorgeous ladies. Morning. How are you? How are you both doing? Good. Really good. The sun is yeah. shining. Yes. And we are talking to you, Capital yeah. Extra. Yes. yes. And we love having you here as well, man. Let's jump straight into it. Golda, for people who are non Bridgerton fans, uh, oh. what is the Bridgerton <laughs> story all about? You know, there's, there a, few, there's a few of them in the cracks. Yeah, there might be a few. No, no, absolutely. It's about a mum and her eight siblings who are kind of trying to juggle society and the ton and glitz and glamour, gossip. And I played the queen of. Of all of them. <laughs> Talk to us about the prequel. The prequel, India. Oh no. Um, <laughs> basically gives Bridgerton its foundations and we figure out why uh, Bridgerton looks the way it does. Yeah. Um, we just find out more about the Queen. Um, we find out why society is, you know, diverse and beautiful and um, yeah, it's really cool. And it's, it's I would say it's quite different to, yeah, to Bridgerton. Definitely. It's, it's, it's the more of an it intimate kind of look um, yeah. um, at Queen Charlotte yeah. and how she got to be the Queen Charlotte that we know and love in Bridgerton. And how does it feel joining like such a big show? Huge. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it, I feel, you know, a lot of responsibility, not only playing young version of a, a character who is so loved, but you know, Golda Rocheval is here and, you know, she does a pretty, pretty good job at doing so. <laughs> um, stop it. Yeah, stop she's it. like, stop, but carry on. Um, so, yeah, it's great. And, you know, the, the, the role also means a lot to a lot of people yeah. and I think uh, the show will do a lot for a lot of people. So it feels um, scary, but a big privilege to kind of even be a part she's of She's fantastic. Thank you. She's really amazing. So I, I don't think anybody is going to be disappointed. Can I just do a round of applause for the love in the room? Nice. Nice. And nice. genuine, genuine. Golda, since appearing yes. in the original Bridgerton, yes. do you feel you get uh, like noticed more in public? People treat you like the queen <laughs> that you are. Is it? Is it a bit mad <laughs> for you? How is it? It's not mad, mad, but I do get recognised, and everybody's like really, really lovely. You know, um, if if you can kind of change one person's perspective of who they are, how they want to be seen in the world by doing a character like this, mm. then that's like you know tick box definitely that's that's why we're here um so yeah i get some really lovely lovely people coming up to me you know saying thank you very much even abroad as well you know yeah. i wanted to ask you about the uh dancers in the show because they are very classic and they're very regal and they're very beautiful but they look very complicated right. is it difficult to learn and remember the choreography well i've never done any dancing which I'm very oh, sad yeah. about, oh. actually. So shout out to Jack Murphy and the producers <laughs> of the show. I'd like to do a Get out of the Get out of a boogie. But India has been through that gruelling Yeah. Task. I, 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 I would say it's gruelling. No, yeah. I had a really good time. I was a dancer before I uh, like took acting seriously, basically. So I, I, I've got the foundations of things. Like, I understand steps. Okay. Um, but it's, like, completely different when you've got a corset on, a body mm. on, yeah. you know, it's a lot. So it's like, I don't know, it's like doing a dance in a duvet is how I like to kind of pitch it. <laughs> it's, it's like a Sunday morning, morning Do you know me. what I mean? That's yeah, so true. Um, yeah, yeah. But they're great. They're really fun. Jack's um, great as well, the yeah, choreographer. Yeah, yeah. Is super, super, super good. So, and he drives from story rather than steps. So every step, every movement, every kind of gesture is driven through the story uh, of yeah, the characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can tell Golda really wants in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pug in it. I'm yeah. it. Yeah. Like, get me get dancing. to me dancing. <laughs> yeah. uh, India, who was the best or worst at your face? Oh, I'm at terrified. I think for someone who's never danced, my co-star Corey, um, who plays King George, um, I think he moves beautifully. He would otherwise say no because he's very humble, but I think he's a very good dancer. Uh -huh. And I would have to say my friend Freddie, who plays Reynolds. Um, <laughs> he's, he's very tall and he's very lovely, but moving is not um, in his 
vocabulary <laughs> of the body. Of the body. Um, but he does a great job. He you turns. Does. And I think he, he looks great. Next yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Gordo, when um, Roger and Phoebe left the Bridgerton, how yeah. big of a shock was it for the cast? Was it something you was expecting? Do you think we'll see them back? Um, it was... It, it, it's expected in Bridgerton because we have an umbrella of an ensemble, but the core romantic relationships just happen in that one season. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Which is indicative to the books. Mm. The books are like that. There's a, there's a novel for every character that goes through finding love, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that, yeah, it was only going to be that. And then we move on to the next couple. And you mentioned costumes. We've got to talk about costumes. You know what? I know Shayna wants to talk about costumes. Yeah, because as you can see, we're not fancy dressers. You saw when you came in, you were like, I like your tracksuit. Like tracksuit. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you guys look great. <laughs> we look like this. But we do a breakfast show. But I can only imagine uh, how crazy it is getting ready, putting on the costumes, including the, the wigs, the hair, the makeup, the costumes. Is it? Is it... How long does it take you to get ready for for filming? We're in the chair the longest, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd say a couple of hours. Yeah. Is Easy, there like five easily. people putting on this, doing this, helping you get into that? Roughly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Golda's wigs are mine times yeah. two. They're just heavy and tall. Uh, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, has the record for the heaviest wig that oh, I've really? ever worn. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, the one oh, at the... Oh, my um, God. The one at the opera. But I, I think Golda had a neck brace yeah, on they made to, like, protect brace. herself. Yeah, 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 to protect the... We're not playing games. Take the, take yeah. the weight off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Talk about health and safety so risk healthy. assessment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Serious thing. Uh, India, could you imagine living life in... 2023, hmm. taking all my time to get ready for like a normal Tuesday no. or like a date or like no. just a casual no, one. No, no, hey, I'm hey, hey, so... I think we did that this morning, did we not? <laughs> that, yeah, but that's to come here. That's at home, I'm like, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. chilling in my tracksuit. And, yeah, no, absolutely not. I'm so low key. Yeah, and me too. Yeah. This is this is about enough as I can do on the chair. Anymore. We both look great. Like, Thank you. You both do look great. Okay. Okay. It's working. Yeah, I would have thought we was in Bridgerton right oh, now. Right you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, right here at Cafe Electric Breakfast, we love hip hop and R and B. Right, oh, that's our thing. That's yes. our bag. Yes. Yeah, yes. I guess we love it as well. <laughs> and we know that Bridgerton are famous for taking popular songs, yeah. classify, classical fire them up. Is yeah, that a word? Nice. Sure. Yeah, it will be a word for today. <laughs> what, if, hang on a minute. Ca say it again. Classical, uh, classical or fying? One thing about Robert is going to make up words. He's going to make up words. Like Shakespeare. I knew there was another calling for me. <laughs> 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 if you could take a hip-hop or R&B song and make it in the style that Bridgerton does. Say the word, say the word. Classical or fying it up. Yeah. Classical or fying it up. I love that. What song would you take? I'd do Stormzy's um, Heavy as the Head That Wears the Crown. Oh, that yes. Come with that. Yes. 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 That would be yes. wicked. I think that would be really sweet. But That'd I think really it cool. would be really sweet, like, in a kind of more intimate moment, mm -hmm. do you know what yeah, I mean, yeah. for the Queen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Kind of but a yeah. more kind of kind of troubled moment, maybe with the king. All yeah. that heavy is the head that wears the crown. We yeah. need to get gold on the production so team as yeah. well. <laughs> Dancing, Dancing, producer. Yeah. We've got many hats. Yeah. 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 India, what about you? When I was filming, I listened to a lot of '90s like female R&B to mm. kind of give me that motivation in the morning. Um, so a lot of Aaliyah, a lot of um, Brandy, um, and also a lot of D'Angelo, Voodoo, oh, love the album Voodoo, it's like yeah. my favourite album. Yeah. So anything from there, I think would be really cool. Like, it's, it, I mean, it's like instrumental anyway, yeah. but I think that would be a really cool soundtrack. Yeah, it's like man. really vibey and... Now you're both playing Queen Charlotte in the upcoming season, The Bridgerton Story. We want to find out who your queens are. So you've got to give us the first answer that comes to mind. Okay, maybe ask you a question, but there's no wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is your queen, Golda? Of British TV, uh, Sarah Lancashire. Yeah. Why? I just think she's she's one of those actors that you can learn from. That you that sits really kind of comfortably in the art, mm. and her choices. You know, I'm going to mention Happy Valley. Got to mention that, mm -hmm. which was the latest thing that she did. Just her choices. You know, with good writing as well it's just exquisite absolutely exquisite yeah I, I always like people who i sit on the edge of my seat yeah mm -hmm. and like are, are drawn in do you know what i mean and want to like that's why i do it that's that's why i love acting because of these people mm. and she yeah definitely she's my that's she's nice. my queen india do you have one 
I was going to say Mary Berry, but I can't really... Yeah. I've got yeah. nothing to, yeah. to, to, to go off of that passion. <laughs> um, I just think she's cool. Yeah. And I like yeah. watching her stuff. I feel like she's very maternal yeah. and um, makes banging cakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Okay, next one. Who is your queen of sport, India? Alex Scott. Ooh. I used to ru- I used to be like a runner on on productions so like um, Jonathan Ross show, and I looked after her and she was so nice. Yeah. Um. Not only that, the stuff that she does for sports and introducing that to women and you know creating such a kind of all encompassing environment. I think she's she's pretty golden. So very cool. Nice golden. Do you have one for sport? Yes, I do. Serena Williams for me because yeah, I nice. am very passionate about tennis. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Can you play? I used to play, yeah, when I was younger, quite a lot, actually. Really? And uh, wanted to go to a tennis school. Um, But, yeah, the acting and singing and dancing kind of took precedent, really. But, yes, I've always been into sports and tennis is like... So Nobody on. speak. <laughs> <when it's on. laughs> yeah. And I will usually have the radio and the TV on. Really? Yes, mate. Listen, man. <laughs> serious. <laughs> I'm serious in my house. Yeah. <laughs> serious. Hey, question number three for the both of you. Your queen of British film. Mine's Olivia Coleman. Yeah. I think. Ooh, she played. One. Who did she play? Vic- no, not Victoria. She played the obscure one, didn't she? In, in the, the um, favourite. In the favourite. Yeah. I can't remember. I just think, one, yeah. mm. again, a a similar to your um, Sarah Lancashire. Lancashire. I just watched her and I'm like, yeah, I can't completely believe. invested. Mm. Yeah. Everything you say, I believe, and I want to be how you are. Um, and yeah, I think she's great. Does a lot for British film and TV as well. It's a, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. And I might go with the same. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I know Ollie. Do you? Oh, yeah, Ollie. Do you? Ollie. Yeah. Yeah. Ollie. 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 <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, mic, mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's an um, she's a wonderful human being as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, as well really as being cool. a, a a great actress. So yeah, I second that, India. Nice. I second nice. Olivia Colman. Nice. One. And finally, for us music heads here at Capital Extra, yep. both of you again, uh, India first. Who is your queen of hip hop and R and B? Currently, Summer Walker. I'm a big Summer Walker fan. Same. Um, Mahalia as well, Mahalia, nice. um, and my friends, um, Flo. Oh. Yeah, I went to school with Stella and Renee. No, no way. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm, yeah, playing them all the time. I'm oh, very proud of them. So, yeah, got to plug them. Amazing. Golda, how about you? Can I do an India Ari? Yeah. Of course you can. Of course, oh, of course you that's can. Because that's who I learned my lines with. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, for some reason, Queen Charlotte lines, if I play India's Worthy album... They go in like really easily. Um, yeah, so I'll be walking in the park, just kind of reciting the lines and stuff and listening to the Worthy so album. Cool. And it's like in, locked in. <laughs> uh, Wicked Choices. Uh, it's you. been amazing hanging out with both of you this morning on the show. You what too. can we expect? Thank you. What can mm. we expect to see next from you both? I've got a few things coming up, but I can't of say course. anything because oh. they're not, um, they're, yeah, they haven't been shouted about yet. So I apologise. But yeah, watch. We'll <laughs> yeah. be watching. I'm coming for you. Coming <laughs> for you. Yes. We'll be watching for real. And I have nothing. Um, so you can watch the space, but it is empty currently. No, we'll be, we'll be um, watching. No, okay. hey, hopefully, hey. you know, Queen something Charlotte comes along. Queen Story, May 4th. May 4th, 4th of course. Yeah. Come on. Of course. The India Amatefio. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We are looking forward to it. Bro. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Golda, India, it's been lovely having you. Thank 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 you. Thank